One useful application of the RX bridge is to adjust an antenna tuning unit. Now normally an antenna tuning unit is adjusted by transmitting and adjusting the controls for minimum standing wave ratio. However, if you have an RX bridge, you can do it without the need to transmit. Just before I demonstrate that, this is a quick view of the shack with the computer, my IC706 down there, homemade tuning unit and a homebrew linear, which is uh, just a pair of 813s. Here it is. And here we have a homebrew tuning unit, which is simply a variable coil and two capacitors in a T configuration. The tuning unit also contains a switch, so I can switch a dummy load or the antenna or the tuning unit into the circuit. One of the antennas feeding the tuning unit is an 80 meter dipole with a pair of traps to allow it to work on 40 meters. With the tuning unit, I can also use it on 20 meters if I need to in an emergency. The use of the RX bridge to adjust the tuning unit is simple enough. Simply plug the RX bridge into your transceiver, select the frequency, in this case 14220, and connect the feed that would normally go into your transceiver into the RX bridge. We need to adjust the antenna tuning unit so that the transceiver sees 50 ohms resistive and no reactance. So we set the dials on the RX bridge to those two positions. So we now switch the RX bridge on and we adjust the controls for a null. This is one of the capacitors. Second capacitor. Now the inductor. And there we have it. I've now removed the bridge out of circuit and I've connected the transceiver back to the standing wave ratio bridge and tuning unit. And I'll just show you the result after adjusting it with the RX bridge. Just running a little bit of power there, about 5 watts. And as you can see, there's the SWR and there's the power. SWR. So that's what we achieved with the RX bridge. If I bypass the tuning unit, which I can do with a switch, I'll just show you what the antenna is like without the tuning unit in circuit. There we go. Got a decent amount of SWR there. That's it. One thing to be very careful of is that you don't transmit while the RX bridge is in circuit between the transceiver and the tuning unit. I think you can understand that would cause considerable amount of damage to the in internal workings of the RX bridge. One of the advantages of using the RX bridge to adjust your tuning unit is not so much what I've just shown you. That's, that's normally quite easy. You just transmit, adjust your tuning unit with the transmitter on low power for a, a low SWR. If you're building a tuning unit, say this little portable one I've got down here, and you want to check it out before you take it out on a field day, and you might be using it for QRP, only a few watts, the first thing to do is to, is to see if it's actually going to work. So you can string a piece of cable out the door and up a tree or a pole, and adjust the tuning unit on all the various frequencies that you think you're going to use it, and just see if you can get achieve your 50 ohms. If you can't, you may need to have a little bit more inductance or a bit more capacitance. For example, this tuning unit works very well at 28 megahertz, <coughs> but it's not very good down at 80 meters. It's just not enough inductance. So you can check all that out first. Of course, you can also use it for adjusting an antenna that's feeding a receiver, or if you don't have a license to transmit. Now, most receivers, uh, particularly the older ones, had a, an antenna tuning trimmer. However, that was mainly used for the high impedance input. The 50 ohm input relied on your tuning the antenna to approximately 50 ohms or some low impedance and it's quite difficult to adjust the tuning unit just by ear. Often the atmospheric noise and other factors make it make the tuning quite broad but with a uh, RX bridge you can adjust the tuning unit feeding your receiver for 50 ohms and thereby optimize the reception. 
So here I'll just give you a quick demonstration of the little portable tuning unit I constructed. I have connected to it a 27 megahertz vertical antenna. However, I wish to use it on 28.5. And I know it's, it, uh, it's not 50 ohms on 28.5. So I've set the RX bridge to 50 ohms resistive and zero reactance and I'll now adjust the tuning unit. Turn the bridge on. One capacitor. Coil. So there we have it, we've now adjusted the tuning unit so that that 27 MHz whip antenna works on 28.5 MHz. The other advantage of using this method is you can also sweep an antenna outside of the amateur bands. Now normally you, you will design an antenna within the amateur band frequencies. However, if you're not sure, and clearly you can't transmit outside the amateur bands, you can use the RX bridge to find out where it is 50 ohms. And by uh, adjusting the tuning unit, you can bring the antenna into the right uh, impedance for the amateur band itself. You may also wish to tune an antenna for, say, 10 MHz or 15 MHz. You can't use the normal amateur method of uh, adjusting the antenna by measuring SWR. So in this case, the RX bridge is very useful for setting the antenna to resonance at 50 ohms on uh, those other frequencies.